my fellow officers and welcome back to another command block video. So today I'm going to be showing you how to summon custom mobs as in with enchanted armor and or weapons in Minecraft Bedrock Edition. So let's get right into what we need to make this. So all bas basically all we're going to need is I um, we're going to need some um, some uh, command block chain command blocks. A couple dispensers depending on how many you want to use um, and some sort of building block as well as a pressure plate so basically the way that we're gonna set this up is we are gonna start off by the slash summon command I'm gonna be basically making a command block that summons a full prot to gold armored zombie so we're gonna do slash summon zombie and we're gonna call it um, golden I guess and let's get a button as well that's crucial to the the oh whoops i made this wrong the the button is crucial to the the command thing because you actually need to be able to activate it and we're going to summon one block above okay so we're just we're just going to test this make sure this works um and what i like to do is i like to put a couple blocks um in between it so because we're summoning a zombie we don't want it to even have the chance of summoning on fire so we're just making sure and then well obviously he's gonna go burn himself right now but um now what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up the basic um the system that we're using to make this so we're gonna I'm for me I'm getting a full set of golden armor you can actually do anything and I'm gonna explain this how this works in a second so we're gonna get we don't want to enchant our armor with Bane of Arthropods Prot 2 Prot 2 Prot 2 and Prot 2 so basically I am sure most of you or all of you know about the system where basically you can put stuff in dispensers and it will um it will be able to um, go onto you when you step on it. So that also works for mobs. So what we're doing is we're basically tele we're summoning a mob, teleporting it into our little dispenser cage after we slash clone it, um, because we want to make sure this always has the dispensers and all that. And then we are going to teleport it out, and it's going to have the armor. We're also going to get ourselves a um, a golden sword. And the reason why this one is so good, like this method, is because um you can actually do nbt items um like special custom nbt stuff so for those of you who know what an nbt editor is um you can actually put like a knockback 10 slime ball or knockback stick into their hand as long as you have one on hand so um i believe so i was able to get knockback sticks for this mob over here i don't know if it's still in the same yeah, it's a different mob now. I was testing it out, and um, earlier it was a zombie with armor, and it had a knockback stick. Now, I was trying to test if uh, I could get, like, skeletons with bows and stuff, but unfortunately, you can't actually get skeletons with bows. It has to be, like, a sword and stuff. That's the only thing that they can actually hold for some reason. You can't actually get them to hold bows. I don't know why, but you just can't. So next step is we're gonna slash clone this so we're gonna go down to this block and basically we're gonna put our crosshair on it um for those of you who are on windows 10 do that for those of you who are in bedrock stand on top of the block and subtract your y coordinate aka the second coordinate so for that for me right now that's four you subtract that by one and this block's coordinates is 19 3 negative 2 so basically we're doing slash we're gonna have to um what i like to do is i like to get the coordinates like this and for in java or not java in windows 10 if you enter um and then you press the up arrow you'll get the command ba back um that you were just at unfortunately you can't do that in bedrock but um basically what we're gonna do is we're just gonna do that um get the coordinates of the blocks we need to do so basically we're getting both corners this corner and the corner down here as well because we want to clone this dispenser it ha we have to get to the coordinates of the lowest dispenser um, and we do that and then we are going to get this command again for those of you in, who are in bedrock after you find the coordinates Just type it in chat for those of you in, in Windows 10 You can do that same method or you can just type it in chat the way that I'm doing at the exact same time Now that we have that in chat what we can do is we can do slash clone and then we can just go into chat 
look at it 19 3 negative 2 I'd like to go um, a few coordinates at a time because it's easier to remember and then 17 6 0 and we're just gonna clone it um, I usually do four blocks above so now if we do this it'll summon okay really you actually so another thing we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to replace item to remove the armor that's what all these command blocks are for so basically you're um, summoning it cloning it replace item um, the zombie you're teleporting it tagging it or you're teleporting it teleporting back and tagging it so you don't just spam uh, you don't get a ton of them getting the the stuff that are, are have already got it so basically we, we do that and then we're gonna replace item um, at ye name equals and then whatever you named your zombie I named mine golden so we're gonna name we're gonna do replace item at ye name equals golden golden and then we're gonna do tag equals not armored so you can do any tag for this I'll explain why um, once we get to that command block that does that and we're doing slot to armor dot head zero air so basically what this does if a zombie happens to spawn like the one that you got right here it will replace its head with air and we're gonna do this we're gonna repeat this for the main hand chest plate leggings and as well as the boots because we don't want them spawning like that because they can't get armor when they have um, armor on already so we're just gonna continue with this so slash replace it replace item entity at e name equals whatever you named your mob and as well as the tag and you have to say tag equals not on purpose because we're gonna be adding the tag afterwards so I'm doing armored again you can do that or you can do a different one slot dot armor dot chest and you have to put a zero here um, because that's yeah it's just part of the command zero and then air again you're gonna have to put zero and air and as well as tag equals not whatever and the tag um, after the the name equals has to stay the same throughout all of these um, so then we're gonna just do it again replace item entity at e name equals golden and then tag equals not armored slot dot armor dot leg zero air and we're gonna repeat this again and we, we have one more time after this replace item entity at e name equals golden tag equals not armored slot dot armor dot feet zero air no we don't want to replace your feet with acacia stairs okay we're doing air okay and last one slash replace item entity at e name equals uh, golden tag equals not armored slot dot armor dot or slot dot this one's gonna be weapon dot main hand because in case the zombie spawns with a shovel or a sword we don't want it to have that either so we're just gonna do air um, and we're just gonna check all of these so it should be tag equals not armored we should have a beat a zero and whatever so checking it again checking it again and okay looks like it's all working um now what we're gonna do is we're actually going to get the coordinates of this block right here and also by the way this does work on players um and the difference with players is you actually have to use bedrock every time because you don't want the players to be able to mine out of this and um i actually have one that's wor working on players right over here but basically you go in here and it'll armor you up and give you your sword um, there's about a six tick delay and we're at 15 9 negative 3 so we're just gonna do 15 9 negative 3 slash game mode creative okay and this will I'm just gonna put it places there even though it's gonna clone again so then we're gonna do slash TP at e name equals golden again tag equals not whatever tag you're using I'm using armored um, and you don't have to do this exact same tag, but okay, now we're gonna look at this. 15, 9, negative 3. 15, 9, negative 3. And then next one, this we're gonna put a 6 to 10 tick delay on this. We're gonna test it with 6. If it doesn't work, we're gonna go immediately to 10. Um, so then we're gonna do slash TP at E tag or er, name equals um, golden tag equals not armored to 
one block above this. And then this is where the last part comes in where you're, they're getting the tag armored. So we're doing slash tag at E name equals golden add armored. So basically now that we've had all of the other command blocks saying tag equals not armored we can even put that there so basically because all of them have tag equals not armored adding armored here makes it or making um adding all the, the one of them that are named um armored um if or that are tagged armored um it they will not activate this so what it's doing is it summons the zombie clones it makes it so it replaces all their items making sure each time it does something to the zombie it it we always have tag equals not armored until even until the very end you can add that there um and then here we tp it and then we tp it back and here's where we're going to test it and it should i mean it did spawn it here usually i'd like to tp it to right here so we're going to actually change this to 14 5 negative 3 so over here 14 5 negative 3 but if you look at this so this zombie has already been spawned okay and actually we're gonna we're just gonna activate this a couple times so we have one two three four and notice not every time only one is spawning and it's being tp'd up there it's not all of them are being tp'd up there and they're all being messed up so the reason that's the reason we add the tag armored because now we can just summon an infinite number of them without them inter interfering with it, if that makes sense. Um, well, either way, we are going to, um, before we end this video, we're just going to PvP these guys, see if this works. We have the exact same gear as them, except there's like eight of them, and oh, jeez, there's that guy too. Um, also, let me show off this other one. This one is a lot harder to kill, but we have a sharp three fire aspect golden sword so we're just gonna so notice they do actually deal basically the amount of damage that they would be um taking to us and they also have a fire aspect so this also works with knockback as well um and pretty much any enchant except multi-shot and piercing on pillagers for some reason i don't know why that doesn't work but okay we got one oh geez my sword no oh he dropped one okay let's run over here quickly steal the sword let's go okay get this guy and this is a, an awkward end to the video but um either way thank you so much for watching and um i really hope that you enjoyed and learned something from this video um oh my gosh oh yeah i made those guys really overpowered by the way i'm about to die but um either way thanks to you thank you so much for watching and i will see you in our next video goodbye